Hi guys, welcome to Solo Prestige Nightfall. Uh, I'm going to be running on Arc, so I'll have Striker subclass on my Titan. I've got all Master worked. I've got a Better Devils, Arc Mananen, Arc Curtain Call, and the modifiers I'm using are as uh, Arc Arc Singe. It's not Arc Burn. Arc Singe, Heavyweight and Momentum. I have no special special exotic armor on. This is a very simple nightfall, and this strategy is very simple. In fact, it's there's that little that goes on in the strategy that you know I kind of I was kind of struggling for how how to actually speak about it. The first part is probably the most interesting. I I do it slightly differently to the way I've done it before. What I do is I take the ship down, then I go all the way to the bottom, take this major sniper out, then I go over to the right, uh, go to the other side, take the other two snipers. And what that does is all the ads congregate in the middle. And when I say all the ads, I mean just about every ad goes to the middle. And with two well-placed rockets, you can practically clear this area, as you will see. So as you look at that, you know, it's, it's, it's in the nicest possible sense, it is shooting fish in a barrel. So if I so chose, I could leave now. If this was a speed run, I could leave. But it's not. I'm just short. It's just a guide. It's not a speed run. I probably could have knocked a couple of more minutes off this run. Another minute or two. I'm never going to be able to do it as fast as the guys on PC because we can't Titan skate. I really, really, really don't think that this lends itself very well to Guy Keller's shotgun. Sleeper Simulant, yeah. Tarantula, yeah. I'm probably going to try one of those in, a, in one of my net and other runs. So, now that we've done that, I'll say no. I'll say no. Your goal for this Nightfall is to make sure you get to the lift at the end with full heavy, a super, and two grenades. Okay? If you can get, like, as, as you'll see, I, I coax one of the orange bar cabal at the end onto the lift so I've got another heavy brick to use against the boss. It's not imperative, but I, what I would suggest is if you do the damage that I do in this video, he'll stay on the ground. You need to he needs to have next to nothing left, and he won't jump up onto the second platform. But uh, if you've got that other heavy, that really helps. So now that we've taken all those ads out, by now most people will know that. The, and if you don't, well, I'm going to tell you. The key to opening that door that we just came through is to kill the, the yellow bar, the ultra, not the orange bars, the ultra. Now that we've come through, obviously we've got to make it onto the ship. I take a little shortcut because I don't like going up the ramp because it's, you know, we, we've got a good time. It's, it's just, there's, there's too many things that can go wrong, too many spare, bullet, you know, random bullets that can, that can stop your run. So I always take this shortcut. And then, because this is the Cabal version, when we make it into the room with the with the tanks, it's right console, left console. When it's fallen, it's left console, then right. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it over, we're going to activate the second console, and then we're going to jump over to the door where the dogs come out of, put down a rally barricade, get two real fast rockets off onto the second tank, and and then we, you know, that's why I never used my super before. I'm keeping my super for you know for this part, so I can just take out the ads, and I think I almost take out the yellow bar. I didn't quite finish him this on this one. Every other run I finished him with a super. So as you can see, we jump over here. This is the door the dogs come out of once you've once you've killed the the yellow bar. We put we put a, a barricade up and two real fast rockets, and that's the tank gone. Now we're going to take these ads out with a super. It just gives us room to maneuver and the other thing it does is for anybody that's ever done this strategy you'll know that orange bar if you that ultra sorry if you attack him straight away uh you stand a real chance of knocking him off the platform so once that's done one rocket takes all the dogs heavy for days and you're on the next section and we've not even broke five minutes very easy strategy so as I say, we're still on course. The goal is to still finish this next section. When we get to the lift at the end, we want to have a f we're full super, two grenades, and full heavy. Now in this room, there are f four 
seven, five, five ultras, five majors and two ultras. But because of the heavyweight modifier, we can drop heavy from anywhere. So what we're looking to do is, on your oranges and orange bars and your, your ultras and your majors, use a rocket, but don't use rockets on just normal ads. Because you want to make sure you've got full heavy, you know. So even though there are seven in this room, you know, you might get heavy from, from just normals. I wouldn't take the chance. So, you know, for me, the turrets and the, the yellow bars are the most important things to take out in these sections. The ads are as well. I mean, it's not like you can just wander past the ads. The ads are important as well, but the ads don't really pose that much of a problem because you're taking them from range. So they're not getting close enough to you to do massive damage really quickly. Although, in saying that, be careful with, with those grenades, with the just the normal cabal grenades, because they, they nip. <laughs> they're, they're pretty nippy. So... Again, still on course, we just want to make sure. And, and the, the cool thing about having masterwork stuff as, as for your super is obviously if everything's masterwork, then every double kill you get gives you an orb, you know. And that, that's, it's, it is quite important to make sure that you, you, you masterwork your main weapons for each kind of encounter, for all your encounters. So, uh, worst rocket ever. I thought that when I fired it, that it was the worst rocket ever. But actually looking at it, it, it happened to me quite a few times where I fired exactly where I wanted it to go. And then as I moved, it went further than where I was aiming at. Just just a, adding a little bit of commentary in there <laughs> about why that missed. So there we go. Nearly all the ads are down. We've got three majors that will be over on the left-hand side next to the, 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 the rift. Next to the left, the rift. Next to the left. If you've got five rockets, you can use a rocket to kill them. But as you'll see, I was trying to kind of coax one to get up onto the left. I wanted one to die on the left to give me that extra heavy ammo. And then we're going to jump the chain. We'll jump the chain chain to activate the boss. Uh, so that when we get onto the left, after we kill... The cabal that come down in the pod. Once we kill those, we can now we can we, we can we can start uh, damaging the boss. We can put it on the boss from from the minute we get up there. So we're, we're, the chains kind of in sections. There's clean and dirty sections of the chain. Where you need to go is the last clean section of the chain. You need to get to that point to to get the boss to to come to the top and wait for you what i was doing there was i wanted to make sure I, obviously i have full heavy with that one heavy ammo on the the elevator spare and um, just jump the chain just jump the chain <laughs> i actually was going to try darcy for this part but i just don't know if darcy's got that range because it's it's not a range sniper there's no need you know, the, the, so I, I figured there was no need to keep trying it. Solar, I, I solar might be better for speed running this, but I just I still think this is a good one for the arc, for the arc subclass. So you've done the chain, come down. There's your pod. Don't fire a rocket. Just take them out. Make sure that you've got full full health as well before you actually get onto the lift. And as you can see, I think I'm going to be cool. Uh, activate my health. It's just, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be cool. But that that shotgun, it's it's pretty heavy. So we've got full heavy. Full heavy. We've got full health. We're just going to head glitch them. Go to the back of the lift because you get a better angle on them. And we're just going to wait for him. Just fire the rockets in between his snipes. I've got a mod on one of my pieces of armor that reloads power weapons faster so i managed to get all my rockets off and get the multi hit pretty pretty uh standard so we've picked up that other heavy we'll just reload now what we're going to do is we're going to put a grenade at the middle of this ramp and the reason we're doing that is so that the grenade will continue to damage him when he melees me 
as you can see I'm just following him now I missed with this grenade it done I think it got one hit and then I don't know why that never killed him that rocket should have killed him but my theory is that the ad in front took all the blast but it makes no difference because he's really low you just back away down to where the two unstable cores are that area and just keep shooting him and he will die and that's the end of the run. This week's Nightfall was dropping the Tilted Fuse. The Tilt Fuse. Exotic Spiral. So hopefully this run helps you get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. It's a really, really, really slick run. It's a real slick, easy Nightfall. Uh, if you do, don't forget to show it some support. Give it a like. And any questions, any comments, leave them. If there's any content you want to see me do this week leave a comment and I'll I'll do my best to get that that out. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.